Hi guys, I'm back. I am here to do a ridiculously short Sunday book haul. Um, most of the stuff I got Sunday I did wind up buying, I will admit. But I did get a couple of arcs and some of them were my favorite of the convention, so I had to share them with you. Um, the first book I got was an arc of Tomorrow's War by J.L. Bourne. I have a lot of these and again, I'm going to go through all these books tomorrow and kind of sort what I think I'll read what I won't think I read and try to find a home for it. This I might wind up giving to my dad because I know that he likes these books a lot more than I do or donating them to my library. That's also a possibility as well. Um, but yeah, so this is another book that I got on Sunday. Um, and they were doing like um, a couple of arcs from um, Fear Streets for the kids because Sunday's Kids Day at New York City Comic Con and I wound up getting the two McCoys. The Red McCoys choose a crowd. Um, and I did wind up getting Arlo Finch and The Lake of the Moon. I am reading, currently reading the first Arlo Finch books. And The Real McCoys comes out in November. And Arlo Finch in The Lake of the Moon comes out in February. Um, and also the first book I did get of the day was The Library of Ever by Zane Alexander. This book is super short. This book is like literally not even 200 pages. Um... And it just is about this really cool library. So hopefully, I actually might wind up reading this next because it's so short. Um, it comes out in April, but literally I can probably finish this in like a day if I really, really wanted to. So this will probably be a very, very quick read that I can add to my train books. I did wind up getting an extra copy of Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Ning. I do have a signed copy, so when I do, do wind up reading it, I will definitely do a giveaway and this copy will be for you. Um, the last two books are my highly anticipated of the whole convention, and the first one is Sherwood by Megan Spooner, which is a Robin of Loxy retelling, um, and I really, I enjoyed Hunted. It wasn't my favorite book I've ever read, but I did enjoy it, so I'm curious to see what she does with Robin and see if I like it a little better, and by far, by far, my most anticipated book of this entire convention was Slayer by Kirsten White. Cannot tell you how excited I was for this book. Cannot tell you the stress to get this book that happened, but I but it did wind up happening. Um, so I did wind up getting Slayer by Kirsten White. This book comes out in January, and I want to read it right now. Um, but I am going to add all the books that I wound up buying to this video, so you guys will see that clip when I'm done with this clip. Um, but I'm really excited for this book. I don't. I read the summary, and now I just want to read it. Um, but yeah, so those, those are all the books that I got for free on Sunday. Sunday was also a day that I did a lot of stuff off the floor. I went to a panel for the TV show Gifted. Um, I went to do a, like a Harry Potter experience. And then I just was buying a lot of stuff, we'll be very honest. Um, but I wanted to show you guys everything that I got. Um, and when I come back tomorrow, I will show you everything that I went up buying. <gasps> but I hope you guys like this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys i'm back i'm here to do all the stuff that i bought at new york city comic con um or recently i did have a book outlet order and most of the books i did wind up putting away so when i find them i will do a different book haul outlet about that but they're just somewhere else right now but i did wind up buying a lot of things and i always do this when i go to new york city comic con just because the deals are pretty good um but the first two did not come from new york city comic con and i was able to get this is from good choice reading i've talked about them a lot they do signed pre-orders and the books are personalized so i did get wild war cross and wild card i really love these books so much i thought that they were so well done and I really just wanted them for my collection. So these are the first two that I got. I got these at the beginning of September. And I just never put them in a book haul. But overall, I was really happy with these books. And I hope that if you have not considered checking it out that you will. But it was really nice that they were both signed to me personally by Mary Lou. She does not tour in New York very often. So that was why I decided to do the pre-order that way. Um, also, I've been talking about this a lot. That I really wanted some shorter reads. So at the convention with my friend Sarah... We both took up Jack and Haley's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. I do have roomies from them and I have a couple other books for them, from them, but this one just sounded adorable and everyone at the convention was like raving about it, so I decided to pick it up and hopefully I like it as well. I'm curious to see if it floats my fancy and if I enjoy it, but I did, I did want to be picking up this one as well. Um, and because they were like... Um, doing an art giveaway if you bought a book. I went up buying Secret History of Witches by Louisa Morgan so I could get one of the arcs from Orbit. 
Um, and this is like a mag uh, a sweeping historical saga that traces five generations of fiercely powerful mothers and daughters, which is whose magical inheritance is both a dangerous threat and an extraordinary gift. So this is kind of a big book, but I'm super, I hope I like it. Um, I like the cover and I just was like, you know what? Let me try it. Let me see what happens. And I'll be sure to give you guys my thoughts. I don't read a lot of adult books, but hopefully I like this one. Um, the next one was kind of an unexpected event because I was going to the Marissa Meyer signing so she could sign my Ark of Arch Enemies. And the lady there that was doing, was doing, um... Check, please. This is another graphic novel that I heard so many good things about. She was there signing, and I just was like, you know what? Well, while she's here, I'll get it signed. So she she signed it to me, and I was so happy about that. So this is another graphic novel that I will add to my reading shelf. Um, And Damsel by there by Alina A.K. Arnold was there. There is a book signing at Books of Wonder tomorrow, and I'm just not going to make it to it. There's just no way. But I did wind up seeing it early, and I did wind up grabbing a copy. I've heard really good things about it, so hopefully I like it as well. This cover is really, really pretty, too. So I was really happy that I wound up getting a copy of this. Also, the last day Disney was doing a buy one, get one. So I wound up picking up Willa of the Wood, and I'll show you the other book I got because it's down there. Um, and this is the same author of Serfina and the Black Coat. I have no idea what this book's about, but this book cover is so pretty that when I saw it for Buy One Get One, I'm like, oh my god, I need it. And I haven't read Safina and the Black Cloak yet, but I've heard really good things about this. I think Alexa or Mackie reviewed this, who I saw at New York City Comic Con, and they were awesome, by the way. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited to read this, and hopefully I get to read it soon. Um, Simon & Schuster, towards the end of the day, was doing a Buy One Get One, so I wound up doing... Always in Forever, Forever, Lara Jean, which is the third book in To All the Boys I Love Before series. I still need book two. And I also did wind up getting um, The Hotel in Between by Steve Eastley. Um, and this is one that I heard about last year at BEA. And I'm like, when I saw it that I could get it, I was like, oh, and it has twins. So I'm sure this is about a mysterious hotel. And I'm sure I will like it. Um, and another book that I picked up from Macmillan was The Train to Impossible Places by P.G. Bell. And this is about a, post, a postal express that delivers to, like, place, like very, very hard-to-get mail places, like Under the Sea or, um, you know, shipwrecks or Ocean Bottom Shipwrecks, everywhere. And so it was just fun places that you don't think you can really get to, and they are the postal delivery service. Which I thought was super cool, and I definitely had to add to my reading list. And I had not heard about this before, but The Adventure Zone, which is like a podcast, they were there signing, and I just picked it up because I love d and I was in a DAD troupe for like a while when I was younger, and I just decided to pick it up. But yeah, those are the physical books that I got. Um, and then I did get some comics um, because I was in the booth for Dark Horse, and I wound up just getting a couple. Oh, and one more book I did get, which was really the reason I went to Disney, was to get The Lightning Thief, the illustrated edition. Oh my god, I love these books so much. The drawings are so pretty, and when I saw this, I was like, I need to get this. It was such so big to get home, but totally worth it. Um, and I also wound up picking up a couple of Buffy comics. I wound up picking up Giles Girl Blue. I have no idea what it's about, but I saw um, Spike on the cover, so I was just immediately intrigued. We also got some free comics, which I won't, which we got Mystery Science Theater, Elf Quest, and Buffy the High School Years, Plants for Zombies. Um, I also got a free book. I got Star Wars, Lando's Luck, um, which is just like a really, really sh short Star Wars book. And I will probably wind up finding someone that likes this, maybe the kids at the gym or maybe someone that I teach currently. Um, I also wound up picking up Monster Mayhem, which is... A middle grade novel and I didn't get it personalized but I thought it was so cute so I had to get it and here is just a couple of the comic books that I grabbed I grabbed Stranger Things I grabbed the entire Incredibles collection because it was like a three pick and then I picked the first two for the Frozen selection and I got the one for Stranger Things um I don't really read a lot of comics but these for Disney I just was like kind of a too and I love Stranger Things so when I saw them I was like you know what I'm gonna pick it up um and I also did get Ver um, Buffy Volume 2 um, from Dark Horse, Season 2, um, volume season eight, season 8, Volume 2, which I also did wind up picking up. 
but I just wanted to quickly add this bigger the smaller haul to my Sunday haul because I honestly did not get a lot of arcs that day but the one I did get was super impressive um but yeah so I hope you guys like this haul and I will be back hope maybe in a while maybe in a while with another book haul but I will definitely be back but I have so much stuff to read I don't even know where to begin but I hope you guys like these various book hauls that I got from New York City Comic Con and I'll talk to you guys later